afternoon folks how are we doing well it's absolutely pouring down um, it's the Sunday the afternoon before we go to Sandringham um, we're heading down there tomorrow morning quite early morning um, so we're, we're gonna I forget where we're going now but we're, we're gonna go and find a uh, beach hut that is, is decorated like a Union Jack because that's what my wife wants to do so that's what we're going to go and do now well not now but tomorrow morning um yeah so we're going to go do that um i've just been packing the van up this afternoon getting everything ready getting the new goodies ready to review tomorrow um hopefully going to get down to norfolk it's probably going to take us about five hours so it's going to be quite a quite a long drive uh, but we'll get down there get the van set up get the pop top up um and then look at doing the review on the uh, on the items that we've got might give you a little sneaky sne little, little sneaky one we've got basically a van gogh airbeam sun canopy we've also got the van gogh sun canopy side sides <laughs> yeah so we've got the sides to go on the side canopy uh, sides to go on the sun canopy it's not easy to say uh, and we've also got some thermal blinds um, from All Pro, so um, yeah, I'm going to give them a whirl as well. So hopefully, the next time um, I speak to you, or the next time I put a little video up, will either be in Norfolk, approaching Norfolk, approaching a hut with a Union Jack on it, or at the campsite. <laughs> Either way, I'll probably speak to you tomorrow. I'll be taking a drone, but it's not given a great, great forecast. To be fair. Um, but we'll we'll see what we can do. Um, also, might be looking at a new drone as well. Currently, I've got a Mavic Air. No, I haven't. I've currently got a Mavic Mini, and I'm looking at getting a Mavic Air 2S, which is um, basically a couple of upgrades up from the Mavic Mini. Does a lot more features, a lot better camera, which in in essence is really why I got. A drone in the first place to take nice pictures anyway enough about that another time um hopefully see you tomorrow yep see you later bye uh. oh, morning folks we've arrived and you know when i said on sunday that i'd like to show you how to put the canopy up and show you the blinds and everything else failed we got to where did we go to first? Well, Wells next. Wells next the sea. Very nice. Very nice. We're gonna wander around there. I'll, I'll put some pictures up. And then it started raining. It went really, really nice. The sun came out. It threw it down all the way from Blackpool. About five and a half hours journey. Threw it down. Got to Wells. Sun came out. Brilliant. Got onto the beach. Lovely. Then he threw it down, so we thought we'll go, we'll go see if anybody's in. So we went to Anmer, where Kate and Wills live. They were out; they'd gone shopping. So we thought we'll go and see if Maggie's in. Fortunately, she'd gone back home. Where she'd gone? She'd gone back to Windsor. There was nobody in. I put you some pictures up. So we got to the campsite. The campsite's lovely. Like I said, we've been here before really really nice but it was absolutely bouncing and you might be able to hear now it's still bouncing it's still raining so the canopy is up however I put it up in the rain and I couldn't really be bothered putting the sides up in the rain because I was already soaked so I didn't bother but it's up hang on I'll show you look at that that is the Van Gogh Airbeam 2.5 meter and it fits perfectly on the van absolutely spot on the Airbeam once I've figured it out because there's a decrease sorry an inflate or a deflate on the pump so once I've figured out which way to put everything it worked pretty well so I'd say in about six minutes it was all up again I'll, I'll 
put some proper pictures up in a bit. So yeah, so I'm sorry about that. I've sort of let the team down yet again. But I will at some point do a do a proper one, I promise. I promise. But anyway, I'm gonna go and have my brew and I'm gonna grab my breakfast. And we'll see what today brings. I think we're gonna go around Sandringham later, but we shall see what the weather's doing, because at the moment it's raining. Anyway, have a good one, and I'll speak to you in a bit. Afternoon, it's me again. I'm in the grounds of Sandringham House. Now, for those of you that don't know, Sandringham is one of the Queen's residents. So, the back when we first came to Sandringham, oh, five years ago now, Lauren came round the grounds, but obviously with us having a dog, dogs aren't actually allowed in the grounds. So unfortunately, I didn't come in. However, I wanted to come in this time and have a little look round. Yeah, it's winter, and yeah, it's wet, and yeah, it's not all sort of fully grown, but do you know what I mean? That's just a little bit, it's just the path, just the path we're on. Oh, stunning. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to walk along this path for a little bit, and eventually we shall come out at the house apparently. Now the guy on the gate did say I could have a look through the window. Now Lauren's just looked through the window, and she was quite excited because she said she could see inside, but then the cleaner that was on her knees shot up and <laughs> looked somewhat startled. <laughs> so we'll see how we get on. Anyway, I'll take some pictures and I'll put them up at the end of this little video and I'll catch up with you again shortly because it's raining and I'm freezing. See you in a bit. back again. It's not warmed up any. However, look. This is Sandringham House. Sandringham House. Literally walking up to the front door. I got a knock. I was going to see who's in. I don't think there should be anybody in. <laughs> oh, no way my luck. But it's, uh, it's a stunning looking building. Shame's up. with you even if you're not into the royals you can't help but appreciate the land and, and everything they've got just just look at this now that is not a bad front garden is it let's be honest that is that is, that is pretty pretty nice I mean there's, there's there's all that over there as well but what I'm going to do, I'm going to just take you up on this path because I'm hoping what it'll do is it'll bring me out right at the front of the house and I'll try and get a right nice good shot because it, it, it's raining, let's be honest but the thing is, when it's like this it's almost like I've got the place to myself it's like my house, it's not my house it'd be nice if it was my house, but it's not my house but there's, there's like, there's nobody here I think there's, there's about four other people that I've seen walking about equally as wet as me but loving it it's absolutely awesome if you can get down here get down to Norfolk it's it's stunning absolutely stunning anyway I'm just gonna go and find out where I am on my map you get a map a map for your front garden that's when you know you've got a good house and I'll uh, I'll be back with you in a minute Okay, so I'm just walking down this path and there it is. Look at that. That is absolutely stunning. What a beautiful looking building. Oh, anyway, I think it's time. 
have to go back to the van because I am freezing. <laughs>